Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to work on problem statement available on lead code. This question is about finding the index of the peak element in mountain array. So to describe mountain array, I would like to present this definition. If the elements of an array are strictly increasing or sorted in ascending order up till a particular element and then strictly decreasing that means now the elements are sorted in descending order then this kind of array is known as mountain array so these are the array elements and we will see how we can have a mountain array first i'll show you a visual representation of these elements and then observe how this array is a mountain array i have plotted these points on their respective indices which are on x-axis and we can see that once the plotting is done how these elements form a mountain like figure now in this case the mountain's peak is element 9 and it is available at index 3 so from this we can make few observations the peak element will never be at the zeroth index that means this will never be the peak element and also the element available at the last index that means this will also never be the peak element for any element which is lying on the uphill that means this is how it is going uphill and also for an element which is lying on the downhill it will always be greater than its immediate successor that means this element and the element which I have plotted at index 4 which is number 7 will always be greater than its immediate successor which is going downhill. So this is the peak index in a mountain area problem statement on lead code. The information about ARR is given here that it is going to be a mountain area if it holds the following properties. The length of the area must be greater than or equal to 3. Now this is required so that Whatever peak element we have in our array, it must be greater than the value on its left as well as on its right. Also, there are few conditions that should be true for the index i. As we can see here that the elements moving towards the right side, that means ARR of i is greater than ARR of i minus 1 and so on. And next is that ARR of i is also greater than the element on its right so array arr is a mountain array so here we have to return the index i and conditions you can see here which must be followed also we need to note down here that the time complexity for this question is o log arr dot length so if we say n is the length of the array then the time complexity for this question is o log n which itself indicates that this problem statement must be solved using the binary search algorithm. Let us see a few examples which are given in this problem statement. We can see that example 1 is having this as a RR which is 0, 1, 0 and 1 available at index 1 is the peak element as it is greater than the element on its left and right. Here in the next example 2 is the peak element available at index 1 which is satisfying the condition of being greater than the element on its left as well as on right. And the third example where 10 is the peak element, in this case we will have output as 1 because 10 exists at index 1. Let's understand how binary search algorithm will be applied on these set of values in order to find the peak index. We can see in this array that 5 is the greatest number. So the condition for the peak element is that it should be greater than the element on its left as well as the element on its right which is true for the index 1. But let's see how binary search algorithm gets applied on it. So here I have set the value of start to 0 and end is at 4 that means the last index. To start with binary search we need to have this condition which is start less than equal to n. This condition is true for the first time. And here we calculate the value of mid which is start plus n divided by 2. So we get 2 which is this index. And in the first if condition we are checking if the value at midpoint which is 3 is greater than the element on its left which is 5. 
and also this element is greater than the element on its right. We can see that this condition is true and this one is false. So we are now going to jump on to the next else if condition where we are checking if 3 is less than the element on its right which is true. This condition is false. If we get this condition as true then we are going to move start because we will have an element on the right side greater than the element available at middle point. And now we are moving on to the last else if condition where we check if 3 is less than element on its left which is 5 as this condition becomes true. So that means we will now be looking for the peak element on this side of the array. So for this we need to shift the end from 4 to this point which is mid minus 1 and now end will be 1. After this, the next step will be again going to the value of start which is already 0, end is at 1. This condition becomes true and we are again calculating the value of mid. We can see that there is a very big issue with this code. We have got the value of mid at 0 which is this. And now in the condition if you observe, we are actually checking that the element at index 0 is greater than the element at its previous index which does not even exist in the array. That means it is trying to look for 0 minus 1 which is minus 1 index and there is no minus 1 index in the array. So here this is going to raise an error. As we have already seen how setting the value of start will create issue in our code where we will be checking for the middle point comparison with the element on its left which is at index minus 1 and it does not exist. So actually we have to make a little change in the value of start. Instead of initializing it with 0, we will set its value to 1. Let's see how this is going to work on some set of numbers. So to begin with the process, I am first going to write the value of start. Here I will take it as 1 for the reason that I have already explained and the index is at 5. There will be few changes in the condition that we have already written for binary search. As to begin with, we need to check that the value of start is less than or equal to n. Here you can see the condition is true. And here we are going to calculate the value of mid just like what we do in a general algorithm of binary search. So 1 plus 5 divided by 2 and we get 3. So this is the midpoint. These are start and end. And now we are going to check if the element available at this index is greater than the element on its left as well as on its right. So this will be the condition if ARR of 3 greater than ARR of mid plus 1 that means 4. First time checking for the right side. If this becomes a true, as we can see 9 is greater than 7, this condition is true. So now I need to be sure that the element on its left is smaller than the element on its midpoint. That means 9 should be greater than the value available at index 2 which is 5. So for this I need to change the value of end. So now end will be mid minus 1 which is 2. Running this code for the second time, start is still at 1 and end has shifted to 2. You can see that in this case, I am not getting the peak element at middle point. Rather, we are just changing the value of end while writing the condition for the middle point for the first time. Now again, this condition is true. 1 is less than or equal to 2. We calculate the value of mid which is 1 plus 2 divided by 2 and we get 3 divided by 2 which is 1. So midpoint is 1 right now which is this and we check if 4 is greater than 5 for comparing the element on its right. As this condition is false now I need to change the value of start because the element here will be smaller than the element available at mid plus 1. So that means 2, 4, they are all smaller and definitely we are not going to get the peak element on the left side. So we go to the else condition where we change the value of start to mid plus 1. 
In the third case, we can see that the value of start is 3 and end is at 2. 3 less than equal to 2, condition becomes false. Once this condition is false, the loop that we will be writing to perform this task will get over. And outside this loop, we will simply return the value of start. So this 3 is the index of the peak element in my array ARR. Let's implement the code on the platform of lead code. So here we have to write the definition of a peak index and mountain array function. We can see that the function returns an integer value. This value is the index of the peak element of mountain array and function accepts an integer vector ARR. First, we are going to initialize the value of start and end. As discussed, the value of start will be 1. The statements that we will write inside this while loop will run till the value of start is less than or equal to n. Now we are going to calculate the value of mid. Here we are going to write the condition to check if the middle element is greater than the element on its right side. That means error of mid is greater than error of mid plus 1. So now we are going to shift the value of n in order to compare the element on its left side. But if this condition becomes false, then we will have to look for the element on right. And for this, I will change the value of start. As we have already seen in the example, when the value of start becomes greater than the value of n, we will be out of the loop and here I am going to return the value of start. Let's run the code. So these are few test cases that are available here and we can see the code has successfully find out uh, the index of the peak element. Let's submit the code. So you can see our code has successfully passed all the test cases. There can be multiple variations in order to solve this problem statements. The link of such solutions is available in the description. If you like the video, please click the like button. Subscribe to my channel for latest updates and more videos on algorithms. Till then, keep working with smile.